Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Taylor and this week I'm going to be reading my most anticipated new releases, which include books from Sarah Adams, Elsie Silver, and Abby Jimenez. So let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. Just to give you guys a little bit of an update, um, this is what I'm currently reading. The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. Um, I'm a little bit into it. It's pretty good so far, pretty entertaining. Um, obviously, sports agent, sports superstar. She's gonna try and be his agent, but they dated in the past, so it's conflicting. He's trying to be silly and goofy and mess with her head and yeah it's been pretty entertaining so far but nothing too crazy has happened really so I'm just gonna keep reading and I will let you guys know what I think about it overall all right so I just finished the rule book I was absolutely terrible at filming and updating you guys. I don't really know why, but I enjoyed it. it wasn't my favorite, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to wait until the end to give you guys my overall thoughts and ratings. So we'll see you there. so sweet ah, it's so sweet I'm on the epilogue now Justin is the standard. What a guy. What a guy. Amazing. Chef's kiss. As you guys can see, I just finished Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I'm going to give you guys an update and stuff later, but... I loved it. Just going to sit here and think about it for a while now. What a good story. <laughs> okay, I'll update you guys later, but... Hey guys, little update. Currently April 9th. Wild Love by Elsie Silver's release date. So exciting. One of my favorite authors, along with Abby Jimenez and, you know, others. But this release, I'm so excited for. I did start it already. I think I got to, like, chapter 10, which is about here. 
in the book. So I didn't really read a ton today. But I did get some reading done. I'm going to read a little bit more before bed. But I just wanted to update you and let you know that I did start this book. And I am loving it so far. So, peace out. Doesn't feel free of what comes next. So I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. I'm currently on chapter 21 of Wild Love by Elsie Silver. That's about page 198, so about 200. And I am really enjoying it so far. The characters are so fun and so spunky. I love that. It's It makes reading it so much more enjoyable in my opinion whenever you like all of the characters and so far I do with the exception of one or two and they're not even in it that much so it's fine <laughs> and you probably know who I'm talking about if you read this book so yeah um, pretty good book so far I'm really enjoying it I'm gonna keep reading and hopefully I can finish it in the next day or so I'm super excited to finish, so let's keep reading. So just based on that last clip, you could probably tell that I'm almost done. I have like two main chapters and then an epilogue left. So I'll probably finish it either on my way to work or right when I get to work. So I'm excited. I'm almost done. All right, guys. So my hair probably looks crazy. My boyfriend and I just went for a Jeep ride. So ignore that. But I'm just going to go through, give you guys my thoughts and everything about all these books that I read in this video. And let's go ahead and get into it. So the first book that I read in this video was The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. I gave this one a three and a half stars. It wasn't my favorite. It was good. Don't get me wrong. It was good, but it just wasn't my favorite Sarah Adams book. I personally prefer When in Rome and Practice Makes Perfect over this one, but I know a lot of people have really enjoyed this, so I think it just all comes down to taste. You might love this so i would recommend giving it a try still just wasn't my cup of tea personally i will read the back to give you guys a little overview on what the book is about so it says nora mckenzie's entire career lies in the hands of famous nfl tight end derek pender who happens to be her extremely hot college ex-boyfriend nora didn't end things as gracefully as she could have back then and now it has come back to haunt her derek is her first client as an official full-time sports agent and he is holding a grudge Derek has set his sights on a little friendly revenge. If Nora McKenzie, the first girl to ever break his heart, wants to be his agent, oh, he'll let her be his agent. <laughs> the plan is simple. Make Nora's life absolutely miserable. But if Derek knows anything about the woman he once loved, she won't quit easily. Instead of giving in, Nora starts a scheme of her own. But then a wild night in Vegas leads to Nora and Derek in bed the next morning married. With their rule book, 
out the window. Could this new relationship save their careers and spark the romance of a lifetime? So that's what this looks about. Again, wasn't my favorite. It was good, just wasn't my personal favorite. So the second book I read in this video was Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. This book was everything I needed and more. So good. Rated it five stars. Definitely my favorite out of the three I read in this video. It follows Justin and Emma and Justin is the standard. That's all I have to say. He is the standard. He's perfect. I love him as a male main character. Probably one of my favorites that I've read in a really long time. I will read the back just to give you a little summary of what the book is about. When it comes to love, Emma is cursed. Every guy she dates finds his true love after they break up, but it turns out she's not the only one afflicted with this condition. His name is Justin and his Reddit thread about being love's good luck charm has gone viral. Now the two have come up with a plan. If they date each other, their curses will cancel out and they'll go on to find their soulmate. Only Justin wasn't supposed to be so unbelievably cute and hilarious, but when Emma's toxic mother shows up and Justin has to assume guardianship of his three siblings, they're suddenly navigating a lot more than they expected, including catching real feelings. Has fate finally brought the perfect pair together or will their curse be way more hazardous than the curse itself? So just based off of that little blurb, I feel like it doesn't do the book justice. Like, yes, it's a good little summary, but it doesn't do the book justice, like I said. The book is so entertaining and so unique in my opinion. Like I said, gave everything I needed and more. Justin, perfect. That's all I have to say. And the third book I read in this video was Wild Love by Elsie Silver. I have been so excited for this book to come out. So excited. I love Chestnut Springs. Every book I love. I do love Chestnut Springs. With that being said, this book fell just a little bit flat for me. I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I rated it four stars. I did like it, but it was very insta-lovey to me. Like their frenemies all throughout their childhoods and everything. And then they separate for a while. And then Rosie comes back to the small town and he comes back to the small town as well. And oh, suddenly they're both in love. I mean, they have loved each other most of their lives, but like they didn't realize it. And now they suddenly realize it at the same time. One thing I did really like about this book though was Cora. Her character and personality was so fun. And I did like Ford and I did like Rosie, but the story together and the plot and everything just wasn't my favorite overall. But I'll just read the back of this and give you a little rundown on what the book's about. She's been driving in wild for years. The good kind of wild, the bad kind of wild, but mostly the kind of wild that comes with wanting your best friend's little sister and knowing you can't have her. Forbes may have labeled Ford Grant the world's hottest billionaire, but all he cares about is escaping the press and opening a recording studio in gorgeous small town Rose Hill. Something that comes to a screeching halt when he ends up face to face with a young girl who claims he's her biological father. Now he spends his days balancing business with parenting a sullen 12 year old, all while trying desperately to keep his hands the heck off his best friend's sister, Rosie Belmont. After living in the city, Rosie came blasting back into town like a storm, beautiful, messy, and chaotic. And one wide-eyed, desperate plea for a job is all it takes for Ford to hire her. He vows to keep her at arm's length, tries to stick to scowls and grumpy one-liners, but with her, verbal sparring is a type of foreplay, friction that soon turns to blistering heat. Ford knows damn well he shouldn't cross this line, but shouldn't and can't are two very different things. And the only thing you truly can't do is resist her. So that's the little summary on the back. Good book. Again, just not my favorite. And that's okay. That's okay. This book could be your favorite if you read it. So I'd say give it a chance. It's still really good. Just not, not my personal fave. That's okay. 
Alright guys, but that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!